sandalwood is a very distinct and unique sort of fragrance note. Uh, it's also... Usually real sandalwood is not used in fragrances anymore uh, because it comes from an endangered tree, so... Most vintage perfumes used real sandalwood, like Chanel Number no. 5, but most sandalwood fragrances today are mostly artificial. Even so, it still smells like the real deal, so... It's a really nice, warm, woods woodsy note, and, um, you know, it smells a little bit differently depending on what kind of other notes it's paired with. So, in this video, I'll kind of go over some of the main uh, sandalwood fragrances that I uh, have and currently know about, uh, starting with the most famous one, um, which is Chanel Number no. 5, here. So, this came out in 1921, it originally used real sandalwood, I don't believe it uses the real stuff anymore, because it's too expensive and too rare. So, um, the sandalwood is paired with other important notes, mainly oak moss, but also vetiver, uh, vanilla, and patchouli, and also the top notes, which are a little bit fainter, um, iris, jasmine, rose, aldehyde, neroli, stuff like that. And the sandalwood is a very prominent note in this fragrance. It, um, most older fragrances, you know, from the 1920s and 30s, um, they weren't really about being sweet or being fruity or being refreshing. They were mainly... Very popular fragrances were mainly about woods, woodsiness, spices, um, maybe some smokiness, um, maybe aldehydes, you know, stuff like that. So, Chanel Number no. 5, its, it's sandalwood wood note is very prominent. Um, you kind of get a real kind of raw wood kind of smell. And it's contrasted really nicely with the oak moss and the vetiver and the vanilla. Because the oak moss and the vetiver are kind of on the same level of that dry, warm kind of vibe. Um, meanwhile, the vanilla, which isn't very sweet, it's still kind of earthy, um, kind of still continues to complement all that. And it's a very classic sandalwood fragrance. Um, if it, if it didn't have that sandalwood note, it would probably smell much colder than it is, because it, Chanel Number no. 5 is generally quite a warm fragrance, so... That sandalwood note is important. Um, now, if you smelled the difference between, you know, today's modern formulation of Chanel Number no. 5 and, say, a vintage original bottle from the 30s, you would definitely smell a difference because, like I said, uh, back in the day they used real, not all of, not all real ingredients, but a lot of real ingredients still. Um, meanwhile, today most of uh, what we have is synthetic. M almost all perfume notes today are uh, artificial, which, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You know, a lot of them still smell pretty good, but there, there is a distinct difference between the vintage and the modern formulation. So. I haven't had the chance to smell the vintage, but I, I've heard that it's much better than and stronger than the current formulation, so. Um, another very important and also quite old um, option for sandalwood is Joy by Jean Patou. Uh, this came out in 1930. Very, I mean, it's primarily a floral fragrance made with thousands of flowers but it has a very prominent um, sandalwood note. And you don't get it at first. At first you get mainly the florals, the rose and stuff like that. But uh, the longer you wear it, the more sandalwood forward the uh, fragrance becomes until it becomes a very, you can kind of imagine you put your head into this box made of sandalwood and you just get that true the grain of the wood um and that sort of thing very woodsy very very woodsy fragrance um even though it is primarily a floral fragrance uh so this is a great way to get kind of a true sandalwood perfume experience um and it's it's not a very sweet fragrance either even though despite the florals it's it has very minor sweetness um which again was popular for the era of which it came out. Um, but that 
is really because you, there's not too many notes in Joy. I think there's a total of six notes, which isn't very much. So you really get kind of a direct experience with the sandalwood, which is very nice. Uh, and also, from the same brand, Jean Petou, you get 1,000. 1,000 is, I would say, even woodsier than Joy. Uh, and that's saying something considering that Joy had, you know, its wood note is very strong. 1,000 Stronger came out in the 70s. And it also has notes like violet, jasmine, rose, lily of the valley, stuff like that. The base notes are sandalwood, patchouli, and oak. So it could be the extra addition of the oak that makes it so woodsy, but this is an extremely woodsy fragrance. You can imagine walking through a forest to get that true, you know, true woodsiness. And for that reason, it's also similar to Joy, not very sweet, um, and it's quite strong. Uh, for that reason, some people might not like it, you know, if you're accustomed to sweeter, lighter, brighter fragrances, you might not care for this one. Uh, but 1000 is a classic. It got its name because apparently it was reformulated 1000 times until they got the right formulation. Um, and the wood notes, again, are very true to their nature, um, which is, you know, a hard thing to find. Usually the wood notes are kind of obscured by other things, but this is, again, is a, this is primarily a wood fragrance versus primarily a floral fragrance, so uh, that's 1000. Then we have Les Mans uh, by Coty. This is very similar to Chanel number no. 5. It was made in response to Chanel number no. 5, and it actually came out in 1927, which is a few years after Chanel. So, um, the main thing with this, it's paired with vanilla, musk, tonka bean, Virginia cedar, and vetiver. So, besides the sandalwood, you're also getting that Virginia cedar, um, which makes it exceptionally woodsy, but, um, I would say that the sandalwood is a little bit on the weaker side compared to Chanel number no. 5, which has a little bit more kind of distinct woodsiness. Um, Le Mont in general is more of a light powdery fragrance, but it is still grounded by those wood notes. And this is, uh, this is more if you want a fainter sandalwood uh, fragrance, because again, it, it's, most of the notes are more toned down, smoother, um, not as kind of in your face as Ch Chanel number no. 5, so. Um, it's kind of, so kind of a little bit lower on the list for Sandalwood, but still a very good choice. Uh, and then we have, uh, the last one here is much more modern. This is Versace Crystal Noir uh, here. So, the, the main, uh, base notes for this. Sandalwood, Cashmaran, Vanilla Pod, uh, and Heliotropine. So, Sandalwood is mainly the thing that's going to ground this fragrance. I do have a few qualms with it. It's not very strong. Um, the top notes are Black Currant, Violet, Black Fig, along with some Jasmine and Tuberose. Uh, it's... It's not, it doesn't have the same punch as um, Chanel No. 5 or Joy or even Le Mans. Um, it, I mean, it's modern, so it's going to be quite different from these vintage options. It's still a good option. If you already like um, Versace's fragrances and you like modern perfumes, this is a good option. But the Sandalwood is pretty toned down. Um, maybe on the same level as Le Mans, or maybe even more toned down than Le Mans. Uh, so you're not going to get a really direct kind of exposure to that sandalwood note as the same way as with uh, Joy 1000 or Chanel number no. 5, which are way more woodsy. So, I mean, it does still add a very nice warmth to the entire fragrance, kind of grounds uh, the fragrance there, but it's significantly weaker. It's not a true woodsy fragrance. It's mainly floral. So, uh, with some, some fruit notes. So, uh, it really depends on what you're looking for, for sandalwood fragrance. You know, if you really want to go full woodsy, full, true, you know, 
true grain to the sandalwood, then you probably, you know, you have to look around. Maybe go for the vintage ones. Usually the vintage ones are more woodsy and more, you know, with the bass notes um, compared to modern fragrances. So it depends on what you're looking for. But all of these are very good um, sandalwood options, you know. You'll be able to enjoy the sandalwood note in all of them, so. Um, that's pretty much what I have to say about sandalwood fragrances. Uh, if you have any other options or recommendations for such fragrances, you can leave those down in the comments below. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.